Okay, well, I'm going to chalk this round up to Mother Nature. Um, I'm going to still try and finish planting this, but uh, she got the best of me, man. Uh, you know, the little bend in the grill guard, that was no big deal. But you see this steel shielding here? I just instinctively went to lower the uh, loader. And of course the uh, the bend was a little more than I thought there on the grill guard and look at that So it ripped that steel shield off broke some bolts obviously bent two hydraulic lines So this may yet be a thousand dollar day out of pocket Maybe even more depending on if I can get them lines to work because them lines go all the way up the sides here all the way up yeah really nice huh really nice so i was able to heat up these lines and get these last two bent down back into place almost into place i'm not going to get this one fully straight and uh, this cover i don't know if i'm going to try and put the sheath on all of these bolts got sheared off um but it doesn't appear and I'm going to have much problem with it unless I hit them again. I just don't have the cash right now to be replacing these lines. I mean, they go all the way up up here, so they're, uh, they're all custom bent lines. But uh, sometimes that's what happens, you know, when you're doing not easy kind of farm work, you know, not just mowing hay and you know flat ground and all that stuff so when you're out in some rugged country you're gonna expect problems this one could have easily been avoided you know if i would have bent this back first but i just it was instinct you just you get in your tractor and you lower the bucket that's that's just what you do that's what you're trained to do so we'll see i might uh, i might be able to get by with this for quite a while see what happens okay so here's how these uh guard clips go in here these bolts are welded to the uh, loader support there so you see i got that one broke off so i'm thinking about just welding on if i really the two is the minimum but if i can get all four of them weld on some new bolts i may be able to salvage this entire thing and have it put back together uh, there's the there's the bent wire or the bent line i mean i I could probably get it a little straighter, but I don't want to push my luck too much. I think I can get it in like that and get this all back together. Okay, I got my four new bolts here. I cut these out of other bolts, welded down. I can't reach the bottom sides of the welds. I had to be careful already not to uh, burn up any of these lines here. Um, I've done that before where I've melted well, it was that door piston, but anyways, we'll see what happens next here. Okay, here's the shield itself. It had one small bend in it right there, which I heated up and got most of it out. Otherwise, it survived. Uh, I'm letting these cool down now. Uh, at the moment, we're looking good. I gave them the tap test with the hammer. A couple of them started bending, so I figured the welds were good. One of them started cracking, so I re-welded it. Um, hopefully this is going to work. Okay, I had to shave down my welds a little bit so that uh, these uh, hydraulic line retainers would seat down. That one needs just a little bit more. And the other three are good to go. Okay, darn near miraculously, I got these all in place. And look at that bent one, man, boy. It's uh, just a little bit of a bend in it left. And there we go, miraculously together. I'm just slightly disappointed. One of my welds did pop here, but I'm not taking it all back apart. So I got three, three out of the four bolts there. But I got all these lines put back together, zip tied. The old zip ties were just dry rotting anyways. So both sides, you know, you, don't, you wouldn't even know that something happened with it. 
got lucky here. I'm gonna say that repair there, I'm gonna say at least a thousand, twelve hundred dollars, especially if they replace them lines. Um, because parts are not not cheap. Although if I, w if I had an aftermarket place bend the lines, they might have been a lot cheaper. But just as an example, just the shock for this door was a hundred dollars, that little shock. And I'm sure all the dealers would be very much the same with their products. But anyways, I'm pretty proud I got it fixed, cleaned up my mess, and uh, I don't think I'll have any problems with it because there was no kinks in the line at all. Uh, how that happened, I don't know, but I got a break. <laughs> Okay, it real slow. 